hope you're all well. So first of all, let me apologize for the lighting, but I'm in a hotel room. Um, I'm sure you're aware that this isn't my usual setup. And this is like the only place I could find to prop my camera up because usually I have a tripod on it, um, but I forgot that at home. So I'm in New York right now and I wanted to vlog my trip because I did last time and I really enjoy going back and watching it. So I thought I would do it again. And also a few of you really liked it as well. So yeah, I'm going to be here for five days. It's Friday the 8th today, and um, I'm going to be here until Tuesday. I have to think about that for a second. We leave Tuesday night. So um, yeah, I'm going to bring you guys with me. I don't really have anything planned other than um, going to a Broadway show tomorrow at 2. We're going to go see Anna and blah, <laughs> Anastasia. Um, I'm really excited to see Cody Simpson. If you know who that is, then that's all I need to say. Um, he is in the show, obviously. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to see him. And um, it is, what, what time is it? I think it's about 11 o'clock right now. And we got up this morning at 5 a.m. Our plane left Columbus at 8 and we got here about an hour ago. So, yeah, we just checked into our hotel and um, I think, I, oh my God, I don't know, guys, but I, okay, so I'm having coffee right now because I was super tired and I think that's why I can't talk and like I'm all over the place. So, sorry for that. Um, but, anyways, uh, we're gonna go get some pizza now and today I thought we would go to two restaurants that we haven't been yet, been to yet. Oh my God. I need to get off of here. I do. <laughs> um, because usually when I get here, like, I have a couple of restaurants that I like and that I always want to go to. Um, but I think we're going to try out, just for today, something different. And I found this pizza place uh, that looks really delicious. And then tonight for dinner, I found a really nice, like, it looks nice anyways, Italian restaurant. They have, like, delicious looking pasta. Um, I'm going to tell you guys the name later because I don't remember what it is right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get some pizza now and then um, I'll check in with you guys later, uh, maybe for dinner or something like that. And yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to get off of here because I'm a bit all over the place. I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm starving and the coffee, not a good combination. Hey guys, so it's the next day right now and I feel super bad because I didn't vlog anything yesterday. Um, we just went to have some pizza and then we went to Bergdorf because I wanted to do a bit of looking around, peeking around. Um, I looked at a couple of bags that I was thinking about buying and surprisingly, I didn't like any of them in person. One of them being the Prada bag that was um, in my wish list video. Uh, I don't know, it just kind of looks very similar to my Chanel bag, so I'm like, eh, I don't really think I like it. And then I looked at a Chloe bag, and I didn't really like that one as well, but I did find a YSL bag that I liked. I don't know, I ended up not buying anything, but I might go back today. So, um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to take you with me as much as possible, but I have, or we have a Broadway show that we're going to at 2 today, but right now we're going to go over to Cafe Angelique because I'm starving and I need some breakfast, and um, then we're going to go to the show, and then after that I think we're going to do a bit of shopping, uh, maybe grab something else to eat, maybe grab dinner tonight, I don't know yet. We don't really have anything else planned after the show. But I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. So I decided to wear something super casual because first of all, it is insanely cold outside. And second of all, this is the first time I'm going to a Broadway show um, in the afternoon. So I didn't really wanna dress up. I was actually gonna wear this to the show, but I think I might just wear that tonight or tomorrow night for dinner, probably tonight. Um, but yeah, so I'm just wearing this Anine Bing shirt and then black denim, a black belt I have on my um, Alexander Wang booties and then just this long wool coat because it's freezing out and I'm gonna pop on my Chanel bag, which is the only bag I brought, uh, which is really weird for me, um, but I didn't have any more room to bring any other bags. So yeah, um, and I also wanted to show you guys the view off of our balcony, it is hideous. It is the worst. So I don't even know why we decided to get this hotel here. It's called the, I don't know, I'll leave it across the screen because I keep forgetting what it's called. It's a weird name. Um, it's a cute hotel, but the view off the balcony is the worst we have ever, ever had. So let me show you guys that real quick. Okay, so if you look off of this side, it's not that bad. 
but then as we come around, bam. Like, why? That is just so ugly. I've been thinking too much lately. thing because after Cafe Angelique I didn't vlog anything else um, but breakfast was really good and the Broadway show was amazing as well Cody Simpson was really good Quentin actually took a picture of him like he snuck one I'm gonna insert it right now um, yeah so yesterday was a pretty good day today I'm gonna try to vlog a bit more we're gonna go for what are we doing brunch breakfast what time is that yeah. it's 10 o'clock so back probably to, breakfast back to Cody Simpson though you saw him in bare feet and pajama bare pants. feet and pajama pants yeah um so anyways what, what did I just say oh yeah so we're gonna have some breakfast and we also want to stop and get some donuts we don't really have a plan for today um, so we're just gonna yeah, run around and see Maybe. what we can get into. It is super cold out, so I just went outside and took a couple shots for Instagram and like a skirt and t-shirt. It wasn't that bad, but it's pretty cold. 25 um, degrees. So now I'm just wearing something super cozy. I have on the sweater that is from And Other Stories. Jeans are Levi's, and then I have my dear Francis booties and my big fluffy jacket. I was gonna wear a scarf, but I don't think I'm going to. Maybe I will. Um, but yeah, that's it. So let's go for breakfast. What bag? Oh, Chanel bag. The only bag I brought. So we decided to go to the plaza to have breakfast, and I have a um, hard boiled, well, not, it's a soft boiled egg, poached egg, salmon, avocado and a poached egg and then I also have some quiche which is really good. I really like the plaza for breakfast because they just have such a wide variety of food items that I feel like there's something for everyone. Um, but yeah we just ate and I, yesterday I looked up a couple of donut shops and there are some that like make really amazing and creative donuts so maybe we're gonna go look for some donuts um, we haven't really decided yet, so I think we're just gonna sit here for now and figure out what we're gonna do. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
back from our little uh, breakfast, lunch, and shopping trip. It was quite a good day today, although it was freezing out. Um, the day's not over yet, but we came back to the room about an hour ago. I want to say it's like four o'clock now, and um, we've just been, you know, hanging out, watching some movies. But I thought I would quickly show you guys what I bought so far because I don't think I'm going to do a whole dedicated video of what I bought in New York, um, but I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up so far. And, um, I got a few really good items, however, I've just not been in the mood to like shop a bunch. I don't know why, like um, after we left Zara today, I was like, that's it. I do not want to go into any more stores today. I don't know, I was just kind of over it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to share with you guys um, a few of the items that I picked up because they're really good. So the first thing that I picked up is this huge oversized scarf and it's from And Other Stories. It is so ridiculously cool. Like, let me try to... See if I can get, oh, by the way, we're in the bathroom because the TV's on out there. So I don't know if you can see this really good, but it's just like this, wait a minute, <laughs> like huge, like oversized scarf. It's so good and it really keeps you warm. Now it's a bit more pricey. I think this was about $70, but it is, um, I think 100% wool. So that is really nice. And then uh, I also picked up something from Anine. Nina Bing, um, which I really love her stuff. Obviously, it's super expensive, but um, I don't know. I saw a store. I saw her store after I left the Dior store, and I walked in and I saw this skirt, and I instantly fell in love with it. Now, this is totally out of my comfort zone because first of all, it's leopard, but second of all, the color is like just so in your face. But I love it. It looks so flattering on, like the way it's cut. It's just a beautiful beautiful skirt so I'm really happy that I picked it up and I think I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this. I actually styled it up with my Anina Bing um, shirt that I have and I thought the two items together looked so incredibly good. Then I went into Zara and I picked up only two pieces you guys. I didn't really like anything in there. Also when I was at and other stories and I picked up um, that scarf I was actually looking for a dress that I'd seen on their website but none of the stores here in the city had it so I think I'm just going to order it online but from Zara I just picked up this black um, top sweater thing and it's really cute because it has like one of the shoulders is cut out so one shoulder is normal and then the other side is cut out and it's very um, very fine, very thin, very slim. So I sized up in this because a size small looked like an extra, extra small. So I got a size medium in it, but it's super cute. And then I also picked up a skirt from Zara, which I don't know, I walked by it and I thought it was really cute. And here it is. And I actually tried it on with that black top I just showed you guys and I thought it looked really good together. But I think I would wear this with like, um, a white button up and a black pair of heels or something or maybe even nude pumps I don't know I really like this skirt it does feel very thin but it's also like super soft I don't know I just thought it was fun uh, okay and then I went to Bergdorf Goodman and in there I picked up something from Charlotte Tilbury and I did get an eyeshadow palette. So the one that I picked up is the Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette. And um, if you're not familiar with Charlotte Tilbury, she has a lipstick in a shade called Pillow Talk and it's super popular. And I'm a huge fan of it as well. I'm actually wearing it right now. Uh, so I've always wanted to check out her eyeshadow palette. And um, this is it. It's so beautiful. I actually had the lady put it on me in the store and I really like the way it turned out. I mean, it's been a couple of hours now, so I don't know if you can still see, but I'm like trying to close my eyes. Um, it's just very soft. It's not super smoky or anything. Just very natural, but super pretty, like natural colors. So I picked up that and then I wanted to get... I wanted to get like a perfume or something, but I couldn't couldn't find one that I liked. I know that sounds super weird, um, but I picked something up from Chanel. Uh, I forced myself not to buy a lipstick. I might still go and buy one, but um, I have so many lipsticks. But there were a few that I liked, and I'm like, no, you do not need any lipsticks. Anyways, um, I picked up this new highlighter that Chanel came out with. It is so incredibly gorgeous. You guys have no idea. Like, you need this in your life. Oh my god, like how beautiful 
is this. It is so freaking amazing. That's like the prettiest highlighter I've seen in a long time. And although it looks really intense, like super like a dark gold in your face, it's really not. Um, it's just very subtle. Oh, I don't even want to touch it because it's so pretty. I don't know if you can see this on my finger here, but um, yeah, it's so gorgeous. I'm so happy with this. Beautiful. Also, obviously, like the packaging, the little gold um, Chanel logo. And then, oh, I picked up um, something from Dior, and you guys probably already seen it because I didn't take it off. Um, but I did go ahead and pick up the Dior Friendship Bracelets. Here they are. These are the colors that I got, and they're actually from yeah, this new spring and summer collection. Um, so, to be honest with you guys, I was going back and forth about buying these because they're made out of yarn and they're really expensive for what they are. And I think, to be honest with you guys, this was like the first time I actually felt like I had a bit of buyer's remorse. Um, I like them a lot, but I've been wearing them for about two days now and there are two things that I can tell you um, if you're debating on getting these. So number one, I have a really thin wrist and like the first day and a half that I wore these, they stayed in place. And now what happens is like the top one slides over um, the bottom one and then you, it only looks like I'm wearing one bracelet, which really annoys me for some reason. And then also these things bother me a little bit because like earlier, for instance, I was eating spaghetti and as I was eating, I was so afraid that I was gonna like accidentally dump these in my um, bowl of food. So I kind of had to tuck them away and I don't wanna wear them on my left arm. I really like them on my right arm. So just a few things to kind of watch out for. Even when you like wash your hands, these tend to get in the way a little bit um, and I obviously don't want them to get wet, but they're still really pretty. I'm gonna try to show them to you guys like one more time. I really like the colors I picked out. At first I was gonna get the pair from um, last year's collection and one of them was white and the other one was kind of similar to this, but then I saw this one and I, I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. So that's it, that's everything I picked up so far. Oh, I also picked up this Avena um, Thermal Spring, Thermal, not Thermal. <laughs> thermal spring water. It's actually really nice. Just like a nice little refreshing um, face mist because I forgot uh, mine at home so I picked this one up. I really like it. It never breaks me out or anything and the mist is like very even. So yeah, that is everything I picked up so far. Um, if I do buy anything else then, because um, obviously I'm still here for a few days, then um, I'll let you guys know and include it in this video maybe or maybe maybe I will do a separate video we'll see um, but yeah that's it so far and I think I'm just gonna hang out a little bit now and watch some TV or play on my laptop and then later tonight I think we're gonna go for dinner and um, tomorrow we're going to Brooklyn which I'm excited for because we have not gone there yet um, any of the times that we've been here we've never gone to Brooklyn so I'm pretty excited about going there and just checking it out there's a pizza place that I want to go to I'm not huge on pizza like for me pizza has to be like real authentic Italian pizza or else I don't like it um, but there's this pizza I already forget the name of it but um, I guess this guy has been making pizza for like so many years it's kind of like a famous pizza place in Brooklyn um, so anyways I want to check that out in my battery's dying so I better get off here um, but yeah I'm gonna take you guys with me to Brooklyn tomorrow so See you guys tomorrow. So today we're heading over to Brooklyn, like I said yesterday. Um, but first we're gonna go to Greenwich Village and have some breakfast. There's this place called Bouvet. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, it's a French place and they have really good brunch and breakfast. So we're gonna head over there and then we're gonna go to Brooklyn. I wanna take some pictures on the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs>
today was definitely an interesting day in the city, um, especially in Brooklyn. Like I said before, we've never been to Brooklyn, so it was really exciting um, for our first time. And I do have to say that it was a lot different than I had expected it to be. And sorry that I'm shaking so bad. Let me just kind of move over here. Um, I don't know. Okay, this might be a little better, although the lighting is bad. Um, but anyways, yeah, Brooklyn was fun, but it was definitely a lot different than I expected it to be. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a place that I'm going to visit often. I kind of like it um, in Manhattan a lot more, so yeah. But the rainbow bagels were really good, so if you're ever in the area and you do want to try them out, it's definitely worth the trip. They're really delicious. And now we're going to head out to dinner. We're going to go to a place called Club A Steakhouse and we're going to have some steaks and, um, I don't know, some other delicious things. And then I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Well, I'm going to end it now because it's just getting way too long. I was looking at some of the footage that I had and I don't want to put like an hour vlog out. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. But tomorrow we are going to go ice skating, which I'm super excited uh, for. I've always wanted to go ice skating. Um in New York so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow and um, other than that we don't really have much planned for tomorrow I think we're just gonna relax again have some food I feel like I've been eating so much like I could possibly explode like it's ridiculous but um yeah so tomorrow should be a fun day as well maybe I'll get a couple of clips of the ice skating maybe not I think I'll just end it here and um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to answer them. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, bye. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to.